Hello friends, very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today I am going to teach you how to work with the real-time queries for Firebase Firestore. Yes, you heard it right. And for that I am going to use the example of our previous video which is the notes application. If you haven't checked that video, you can click on the i button and get that particular code and start working with that. So this video is going to be very interesting. But before getting started, I would like to tell you that there is a limited period offer that is going on in my courses, all the four courses. Along with that, there is a template too that is also launched in Code Canyon. You can simply check the link is there in the description. Go and check it right now. If you like it, you can purchase it. All right. So with that being said, let's get started with our today's video. In this video, I have taken the example of our previous application which is a notes application where we have already implemented the CRUD operation using the Firebase Firestore. So these are the queries which we have already run. Now what is the difference between a real-time Firestore query and a normal query? Let me just show you. So this is our collection here called notes where we have this particular stuff. Now what am I going to do? Let me just minimize it a bit so that we can just see the changes here. Now I'm going to change the title here. Okay, let's try to change it to task and update it. Now this is updated, but in your application, this is not updated, correct? In order to track the real time changes, we need to execute a different query. That is why this video comes into play because I'm going to show you those queries where you can get the real time updates. So this is the URL for that. Let me maximize it to show you properly. So this is the Firestore documentation where you have the query data you can just check it here get real-time updates so here the modular api is being given with the help of which you can get the real-time document changes also say like you are just executing a single document right and you want to track the changes within that then you can simply call this particular query and you are good to go and if you want a listener this is some this is again the same stuff but i want to show you the collection one so this is for multiple collection. This is how you can get the changes updates. But if you call this particular API, then you will get the changes all the time. That means all the collection documents will be called again and again. But we want to execute only those documents which are changed. And in order to execute that or fetch that, we need to use this particular query here where we can simply check for whether it is added modified or removed. Accordingly, we need to change the data. That is what I'm going to show you in this particular video. Let's get started with that. So in this particular one, I'm going to change the query for gate nodes and we are not going to do anything for our this particular stuff. The next the observable underscore notes, we are not going to use it anymore, but still I'll keep everything in a commented manner so that you can judge what you want to use. All right, let's get started with this. So get real time notes. All right, that's going to be my function name. Now within this function, I'm going to return an observable because in this particular query here, we need to like uh, this will just give us the value. We have to do everything here. So I don't want to call it directly. Instead, I want to call it in a service that is why i need to call an observable in this particular way so that it can return something at the very end all right now i need to import this from rxjs now it is updated right and the error is gone so within this particular one i can simply copy and paste all these things so let's do that let me just copy all of it and in fact i need the query also copy and let's simply paste it here and align it properly okay still the job is not yet done now i don't want any where clause here so i won't be using any query instead what i will do here is constant call data ref that's gonna be equals to this particular stuff collection let's cut it and paste it here within which i will have the same stuff which we did earlier this is the one let me copy and paste it all right this is done so this data ref, you can simply pass it here if you have any where clause or any other order by or anything else, okay? But I don't have any such thing, so I'll just remove it. And this on snapshot, let me import from at angular slash fire slash 
fire store and the installation for the at angular slash fire package and everything else is already shown in the notes application if you haven't checked it go and check that right now link is there in the description or you can click on the i button also i have to pass here data ref all right so most of the error is gone now right now if i am subscribing to it i need to unsubscribe and that can be done in this particular way so unsubscribe from the firestore listener when the observable is unsubscribe whenever i am unsubscribing this up this will also get unsubscribed so that's gonna be fine now this observer let me call it here observer dot next within which i need to pass the value as of now let me do one thing i'll just cut it have a constant here constant called note single note let it be of type any that's gonna be equals to this particular value and if you want the id also here then you need to change it to let okay because it needs to be a variable then only you can change it and node dot id it's gonna be equals to change dot doc dot id all right now this snapshot here is responsible for detecting the changes into your collection okay and within that it's gonna give you a copy of it you can listen to doc changes if you want to listen to each and every doc changes otherwise you can simply go for the earlier query where you don't have to go for this particular stuff and you can just call all the documents all along all right but in this particular case we have a special feature of change otherwise this was doc here right which is this particular one now whenever it is looping we are using for each loop to loop it up so it will have each and every record here so each and every record will can be modified as per our requirement now whenever there is a addition of a particular document then we need to call this particular stuff but what am i going to do i'm just going to call it at the top because every time whenever we are entering this particular stuff we need to do this thing right that is why i'm keeping it in this particular way and logging the note here note this one also will be note that's it and here i'm going to pass pass what well i need to keep a track of it for which what am i going to do let me have notes array here notes array which will be of type note array that's gonna be equals to an empty array initially which i'm going to use it here so what exactly i'm going to do is i'm going to keep a track of notes array if the length is zero so i'm just going to put up a condition here if notes array length question mark dot length equals to equals to zero then i'm simply going to push this particular data here so which means that whatever data it had earlier will directly be called here that means this particular stuff will not be called on the first go because for the first go i need all the documents of a particular collection that is why i'm doing so otherwise it's gonna be duplicacy in this particular stuff dot push i'm going to push each and every node data one by one within this particular one and in the else condition here i will be having this particular stuff in which i'm going to work with it don't need to worry about it so that's gonna be my stuff and in the observables dot next i'm going to just simply throw the nodes array value and you can ha also have a reset function here whenever you are unsubscribing this particular observable simply reset that up otherwise if it has any value then it's gonna be a little difficult for you to apply the same changes once again okay that's why i'm saying i hope you have understood now whenever you are adding something definitely you need to push that particular data but in case of modify it's gonna be a little different so at first you need to find the index of it for which constant index will be equals to this dot notes array dot find index function i'm going to use in which you will have the note where note dot id it's going to be equals to equals to the id that you will be getting from this particular note so i need to change the name let me give it as x only it's going to be easier for me to understand note dot id all right which we are getting it from this particular one so this particular stuff this id will be the one that we get from this particular one this will be the id that will be coming up here 
all right because we are modifying the data in that particular way so this is how we are going to update but this is just one step the next step it's gonna be notes array of that particular index i'm going to update that with this particular node data in this particular way right so that is how the updation will work and finally the removal well we are not removing anything i think so yes we do actually we have that functionality i just forgot so in order to remove that what am i simply going to do it's gonna be this dot notes array will be equals to notes array dot filter x x denotes an a single note so it i'm just going to check if the id of that particular note which I need to remove if it is available then I just don't want that particular ID and apart from that ID I want all the data so just simply need to check this particular condition so it's going to filter all the data apart from that particular ID which is present here all right so it's going to remove the data and will update this particular notes array that is how I'm just going to do that this will help you to solve the problem of having duplicate data because we are giving this particular condition here where we are checking this notes array if it is zero or not if the length is zero or not if it is zero then we are directly pushing each and every data otherwise we will check these conditions all right so I think this will work for us let's try it I will keep the other stuff in the same way I'm not just going to touch anything here all right this one also we can simply keep it in this particular way and I'm going to make the changes only in the home page. All right. But if you just don't want to keep this observable here, you can simply comment it. All right. That will be a better way to work with. In, you have to do it in the addition also and in the updation and everywhere else. Fine. So let's it's time to use it. I'm going to go to the home page here and in the home page. Well, instead of this particular one it's gonna be same stuff only let me copy it and comment this particular one paste it once again now I just need this dot node dot it's gonna be gate real time nodes all right it's gonna be a function and I'm going to subscribe to it now why this is giving me a problem type unknown is not assignable to type note why is that so let me just check it here let me just pass observable of type note array now there won't be any error all right so everything looks good here now if i just check it it's gonna be fine i think all right what extra do i need to do i just need to comment this one also because i don't want to call gate notes here i think everything is good to go now let's try it up so i'll just get here minimize it so that i can just apply the changes now if i just remove or update it to Tax one once again let's see whether the changes gets reflected or not let's try it now i have updated and you can see instantly you saw the changes without even refreshing the page right that is what we have done even if i change it to tax two it's gonna work just focus on it simply it is changed and nowhere else it is impacted you can try it on the other one also if you want to let's try it let me give one all right update it and it is getting updated here so this is how the real time is actually working you can try it here also everything will be the same you can just check it here right in fact here too if you want to and edit it's working if you add another one let's see tax two test tax all right edit and you see it is getting added here but you won't see it here until and unless you refresh it so let me just refresh it and you will see the latest one right you can just check it here which is the one which is created this is the one now if i change it to let's say tox 3 it's going to get updated here isn't it so everything is working perfectly but we have applied the real time changes here that's gonna be working pretty nicely here now one more thing i would like to show you in the service one that is related to the single note all right instead of the collection which is the one actually not this particular one this is the one gate node by id so i'll have the same stuff okay but i'm just going to change little bit here let me paste it once again gate real time note by id all right I don't want to have any try catch block or something. I'll do everything within an observable because it's going to throw an observable just like the earlier one. This is the one. Let me copy it and 
I'll simply paste it here in this particular way. And within this particular stuff, I'm just going to have each and everything here. All right. Now let's check it out for a single one, which I'll just check it here at the top. This is the one which I need to use. Not exactly this one, the first one. So simply copy it up and I'll paste it here in this particular way. Now this stuff, I'll remove it because I can simply pass the data ref. If you have any other query, you can go for the query one query function and simply pass it now what's wrong here all right of type any now the error will go away so this is the data that we will be getting and what am i going to do here is well the same thing which we have done earlier gate note let note of type any to be equals to dog dot data function and if you want the id note dot id will be equals to dog dot id that's how you will get the id and you can log the value here instead of logging this particular one current data it's gonna be note all right this is how you're going to get that and once you get that you simply need to ob call observer dot next and pass the data here all right also you need to do one more thing you need to unsubscribe it in this particular way so copy it and i need to go to on snapshot changes well, this is the one unsub all right this is how it's gonna be done so i hope you're clear about it you can use it anywhere else you want and it's going to work fine for you so how simple it is to go for real-time changes right and remember like i told you earlier you can just comment this particular stuff and rest of the things will work as it is even if you don't need to do anything of this kind also even if you don't do anything here let me just show you i've just commented this particular part in fact here also let me just do the same i will simply update it i won't do anything else still it's gonna work fine for me let me just do it for the add one also this will be called and i don't want to call the next one return one also you can just simply skip it let's try it once again i will try to update it edit tax let's say one save it and it is changed here so you have seen even without using any of this stuff we are able to do everything okay this is git notes right i have done it somewhere else but still i have executed the update functionality so that's gonna be fine you can simply comment this particular stuff here so nothing you need to do here everything will be handled by this gate real time notes function all right so i hope you like this particular video if you like this video please hit the like button if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and with this, I'm going to wrap up for the day. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you next time.